Hey, it's Lindsay here from Blue Peter. Make sure you subscribe to the Blue Peter YouTube channel. You'd be a fool not to. Today, I'm semi-excited, also quite nervous, because I've got sweaty hands, because I'm going to be watching back my first ever Blue Peter screen test. I don't even remember this as a day in my life. Let alone, I haven't seen this. I don't remember it. It's going to be cringe. I predict I'm going to have awful eyebrows and probably a quite high, annoying voice. So I had to go through this competition called Blue PT you Decide. That's how I got my job. And I was up against nine others. There were 10 of us. And each week, somebody went home. Somebody got voted off by the judges. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't even want to press play. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. I really, 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 really want to be your next Blue Peter presenter. It's like a school trip. It is. But, but it's yeah. a really good one. Yeah. I'm Lindsay Russell, I'm 22, and I'm from Oxfordshire. Yeah, you're going to have to go under that, Lindsay. Stay okay. on your hands and knees. OK. Can I just say, I, was, I had the hardest Blue Peter audition of any Blue Peter presenter recently. Because look what I'm doing, blindfolded, crawling through the woods. Like, what are others just got to come into a nice warm studio, have a cup of tea and meet the team? I'm energetic, fun. I absolutely love Energetic and fun. But they're good words. <laughs> That's probably what got me the job. Just a slow-mo. Energetic and fun. I absolutely love doing drama at university and I speak French. <laughs> I love drama, messing around with my friends. I absolutely love it. I think... Oh, I can't even... I can't even watch the rest of this. Should we bin this? Should we bin this idea? Subscribe to the YouTube channel, that's it. Go somewhere else. That's when we saw Dom in his bright yellow jacket shining like a beacon of light and we thought, we have done this. In my defence for this bit, they told me to do a piece to camera. I'd never worked in telly. I didn't know what that meant. So I just told a story about a little boy. Have you ever heard of a children's programme called Jack and Ori? Yeah. What do they do on Jack and Ori? Tell a story to oh, no. children. Look how embarrassed I am. I was so red. The whole, I was red for weeks. This is where I got a grip a bit. I actually entered the competition now. I'd been asleep for the first episode. And then they sent me on a roller coaster with GoPro on my hand. And I had to present and do a piece to camera. I feel like I did okay on this one. Maybe I've got the wrong memory of it. But I think I did all right. We are on one of the biggest roller coasters in the UK. There are the views, look at them. You can see the whole of Blackpool from here. I've got to say, my heart is beating through the roof. The last time I did this is when I was seven years old. We've almost reached the top and then the drop is going to happen. So, ready everyone? Let's go for it! Woo! I think that's quite good. That's messy. I honestly haven't seen any of this before. I've never watched it back because I knew it'd be too cringe. Kel looks about three years old. What's the weirdest thing you've ever been given by a fan? I've had, like, I've had a Game Boy, you've had oh, trailers. Nice. You've... Good question. Yeah. You see, they responded okay, to that because they haven't been asked that before. Exactly. That's good. So for that episode, we had to learn to use an earpiece. So I had an earpiece in, Dick and Don were chatting to me, and I had to kind of take on their notes as I was interviewing a band. And I actually weird, I weirdly remember that day so clearly, and I remember loving it. I remember being like, yeah, I feel like a TV presenter. Unfortunately, I didn't look like one. <laughs> Lindsay, during this dance, can you say that you've heard that they've had an embarrassing underwear incident? OK, I've got to ask you guys. I've heard you've had an embarrassing run-in. Is, is it to do yeah, with I underwear? Oh, yeah. Oh. I didn't think she'd actually so heard me, did you? She didn't look like she'd heard. Lindsay's smashed it. She's done really well. Oh, this was doing running around London doing interviews, wearing a T-shirt that I'd bought from a charity shop the day before for 50p. And I think it shows. So here I am in a bright sunny Trafalgar Square, and today I'm joined by Ben. Whoa. Hi, steady on the skateboard there. This was to get into the final, I think. You've shown the greatest improvement of any of the hopefuls this week. Improvement. You're each going to be in the Blue Peter studio. Oh, my God. Helen and Barney, firstly, throwback. Secondly, this is the studio 
that I ended up presenting in for the next five years. So this was our first time ever walking into the Blue Peter studio, meeting Helen and Barney, meeting Barney the dog, meeting the camera crew. I was so nervous. We're gonna record it as live. So what that means is if anybody goes wrong, you've got to carry on. <laughs> I'm nervous for you, I've got good yeah. job. <laughs> if I ended up the next Blue Peter presenter, I would be, all my dreams would have come true. Well, they did. Oh, God, I feel horrible. I need to just get the first one done, then I'll it's have just fun. It's just, just a rehearsal. It's just a rehearsal, so don't worry. This was, hands down, the most nervous moment of my entire life, until I actually got the job and then had to do the job. Hello. Hello. Hi. And welcome to today's show. Now, earlier this week, I was Luffy. Luffy? Luffy? All right. Yeah. Oh, a bit of a fluff there on a word. And you'll be finding out later in this show, show <laughs> always hurts when that happens because your confidence just maybe i didn't do well biggest moment yeah, of my life yeah, okay. I'm excited. the biggest moment of my life probably Classic. Classic. Three, Three, two, one. music makes me feel sick hello hello and welcome to today's show now if you're wondering why i'm looking very excited it's because i'm here for the first time in the blue peter studio <laughs> It makes me appreciate how nice Helen and Barney are. It's so good to me. Why don't you have a look and see how I got on at Chester Zoo with the penguins? They say the golden rule of TV presenting is never work with animals or children. Well, during my time to try and become the next Blue Peter presenter, I've already worked with lots of children, which was great fun. So I guess that just leaves the animals. Oh my goodness. Is it oh, yeah, can I? Oh, it's absolutely tiny. Oh, it's one last job we need you to do. It needs a name. Oh, it does. Now, is it a boy or a girl? We don't know. So, a unisex name for this little one. From Doctor Who, preferably. From Doctor Who yeah. themed. So, I've gone for Ood. Oh, oh my gosh. I've gone for She said, we need a name from Doctor Who. I'd never watched Doctor Who in my life. Yeah. And I panicked and I looked at the cameraman and luckily he was really nice and he went, and I just went, I'm going to call it Ood, and just made up the name. I've still, to this day, never seen Doctor Who. It's just the name of an alien in Doctor Who. It is. I love it. Blagged it. Blagged it. And it's been such a brilliant experience. Honestly, the best experience of my life. And I hope to be seeing you soon as your new <laughs> Blue Peter presenter. Well, well, well. Tens of thousands of you have voted. The next Blue Peter presenter has chosen by you, the CBBC viewers, is this day of all of this this is the day i actually remember because it's the day that i got announced as the next blue peter presenter apparently i met ramsey that day don't remember it all i remember doing is again just nervously eating so many bags of crisps and then feeling really really sick and then my mum and dad trying to be so nice and supportive backstage and they were like do you want us to sit with you and I was like no I can't talk to anybody I was a mess this day I was so scared I was convinced it wasn't going to be me so I and all they said to me was no matter what you do if you get announced as the Blue Peter presenter do not cover your face or do anything like that because we want to see your reaction watch what I do <laughs> the next Blue Peter presenter as chosen by you, the CBBC viewers, is... <laughs> Lindsay! to watch all of the auditions back, to, but to watch that moment at the end, like that, yeah, that was the moment my life changed forever. It's quite weird to see that back because I've never actually seen it. I haven't had access to it. Wow, what a moment. Great eyebrows, great tops, great banter with Kel Spellman, who's three years old. <laughs> that was the funnest show to make. I love watching that. And you know what, in a weird way, I'm glad that my whole process to become a presenter actually was on camera, as cringe as it is. 
quite nice that I've got that forever. I've got goosebumps watching that back. It kind of makes me want to cry because, yeah, that is, even though I didn't expect it at all that day, I was convinced it wasn't going to be me. Looking back, like that, that's the day that changed everything. That's the day that, that changed my life. Oh, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Remember, you can watch Blue Peter every week on Thursday. It's also on CBBC iPlayer. And make sure you subscribe to Blue Peter's YouTube channel. And you could even like this video if you want. Do it. She said, are you kidding? Lindsay, this is your moment. You are the new Blue Peter presenter. I can see the emotion in your face. How do you feel? Um, I feel amazing. Thank you for voting for me so much. Thank you. A big cheer for Lindsay, everybody.